is Monday, 7.24 in the morning. I'm about to head to work. This is my first time vlogging on my way to work. It takes me about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes to get to work. It goes by pretty fast. It usually takes me sometimes shorter than that as well, um, depending on the traffic. It's Monday, so it's not gonna be too much. One disclaimer, um, I'm not allowed to have my phone on the floor, so you all probably won't see me until like my lunch time. I just wanted to open the vlog as I'm on my way to work. I usually leave around 7, 15, 7, 20. Um, I left a little like four minutes late because I'm trying to make sure my hair is good. I ran out of edge control, so I gotta get some after that. But the plans after work for now is to get some more edge control, um, go visit my mom, and then go home and prepare for the next day. And usually when I get home, I pick up my clothes for work the next day right away so I don't have to um, rush and pick up my clothes in the morning. And I'll try to give you all a glimpse of what I have on. It's nothing too special. Sometimes I put in effort into my outfits and I look cute and I'm busting a fit. And then other times I'm like, I'm just going to hurry and put this on. I'm just going to work. And today, of course, you can see the top I have on. I have on just some black slacks and my work shoes. But I'll still show y'all what the fit is looking like when I get a chance to sometime today. But yeah, usually in the mornings, I like to spend time with God. And then I'll also just vibe and try to mentally prepare myself for the day and then you know you know try to get through the shift oh they're called bunny one of the hardest things about going to work is like when my man doesn't have to work and he's be looking so comfortable and cozy in that bed i just be want to stay in the bed with him but you know we got responsibility Sometimes I can't pull it off and be like, you know what, I'm gonna stay home and relax because I need an off day. I, mean, I need a mental day. I need a day to just sit down and rest. Because right now I am sleepy, as you can see. I keep, I am not a morning person at all. But I'll get up if I have to. It just takes me a minute to wake up. And I'm not a chatty person in the morning either. Like I said, it takes me a minute to get up, so it'll take me a while to get up. And it took a lot of effort for me to record today. Cause when I woke up this morning, I'm like, am I gonna vlog? Now yesterday I made the decision to vlog, but it's about if I'm actually gonna do it. So I really pushed myself. What are y'all doing? I will see you all once I make it to work. I have to focus and try to make sure I get myself there on time, which I will, but it's just, you know, you never know with the traffic. But like I said, I'll see you all later. Hey Tiffany. Hey Ashley. <laughs> hey y'all, this is my outfit for today. Nothing special. This is what I consider the last workout of everybody's shift because look at all these stairs. Ridiculous. But I'll be going up these like a G. Um, we're about to go get some Chipotle and just chill in the car. And my lunch is an hour. So we're just gonna chill in here and you know, soak up the hour we do have. Okay. We just pulled up to Chipotle. I'll see y'all when I'm back in the car with my food. I'm just going to get some chips and guac. I don't know if I want a whole bowl. It's like I'm hungry, but I'm not. I'm kind of bloated right now, which is affecting my appetite at the moment. But I, I do want to eat something. So I'm just going to get some chips and guacamole. Some apple juice or some water. And just chill in the car. And then I'll get some actual food on the way home. All right, y'all. We are back in the car. I have my food. Slash snack. It's more of a snack than anything. Okay. We're about to drive back to the parking lot where I work. And then we're going to chill and eat. The sun is that way, so... It won't beat on us too bad. All right, I gotta get my AC together. Put my seat back. I got some water. 
and some chips and guac. Okay. How they going? How's y'all Monday? Comment down below how y'all Monday is going. My guacamole. My water. The chips. Mmm. Mm, it's a good bag. Y'all, I love chips and guac. One of my favorite healthy snacks. I never used to like it as a kid. One, I think I just didn't like it because the texture threw me off. And it looked like boo-boo. So, as a kid, I'm like, I'm not eating that. But then my sister made it one day. I swear, like, when she got pregnant with my nephew, her firstborn, it was like, she went to, she went into instant chef mode. It's like, because all your senses getting heightened. She made some flautas one day. And for those who don't know what flautas are, they're pretty much fried tacos. And they are so freaking good. But when she makes them, it's, it's one of those types of things where you... take you back from is that bus let's change the topic what are y'all favorite cartoons comment down below for those who don't know i have different authentic personalities i'm very chill but i'm also very bubbly and i have i'm definitely a big kid at heart so i know how to be an adult and be mature but then i also have my kitty days where i'm goofy i want to play around i want to do something kid like i want to do something fun i love amusement parks i love fairs i like going to see disney movies like you are never too old to watch cartoons don't let anybody ever tell you you are too old to go and play like a kid you deserve to be free and have fun and honestly being able to play like a kid as an adult is allowing you to fill in that inner child and to just Reminisce about what you used to enjoy as a kid, whether it's like your favorite candy, your favorite pop, your favorite movie, your favorite toy, your favorite place to go. My favorites, like, and these are my favorites, like, these are cartoon characters I will wear confidently and proudly. Winnie the Pooh, that is my baby. I said that in one of my other videos. I love Winnie the Pooh, and I don't know if it's because, you know, I love yellow. I love yellow and blue and yellow is one of my favorite colors i don't know if it's because and i love teddy bears at that so you're my favorite color and you a teddy bear like come on now snoopy and scooby-doo those are my three favorites love them mm -mm -mm. and then after you come down with your favorite characters are what were your favorite tv shows and you gotta break it down disney channel Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network. TV back in like early, early 2000. Best TV show era. Back when That's on Raven was out, Sweet Life and Zach and Cody, Feeling the Future, Lizzie McGuire, The Proud Family. Um, what were some other shows that came out at the time? Even the movies and, oh, I loved it around the holidays. Oh, that's why I'm a Christmas fanatic now. I love the fall as my favorite season, and then Christmas is my favorite holiday. I want to know what y'all favorite cartoon characters are, your favorite cartoon TV shows, and then I guess you could comment down too what your favorite holidays are. I want to get to know y'all stuff. This chips and guac. Mmm. Come on now. Once I go back onto my shift, I'll have two hours left. And then I got to go to the beauty supply, like I was discussing this morning. And then we're going to go see my mommy. I miss my man. <laughs> oh, the best part is when you clear your pipes. It's only 234. I did I did go out with my best friend Vicky Saturday after work and we went to this bar that's under my grandmother's crib and it was nice. They had like a 
Freak Meek 90s theme. It was so cute. Everybody was dressed to the teeth. I just had on a long sleeve <laughs> shirt and some sweats, but my body was bodying and my dunks. That's all I had on. I had on something simple and cute. I didn't have time to look for anything. And one, we didn't even know what the theme was. My friend probably did, but I didn't. She called me actually as I was on my way home. I was like, you want to go out for some drinks? I'm like, sure. We went to go get drinks at this place called Money Gun. Money Gun is a great place to go. Oh, excuse me, y'all. That was not appropriate. They have great music. Their food is good and the drinks are good. I had a strawberry mar uh, margarita yesterday matter of fact i was looking into solo dates yes i am in a very committed relationship and me and my boyfriend are in the midst of trying to work towards marriage but it's also good to find time for yourself and to treat yourself and this is a way to pour into your cup and to not forget about yourself despite whether i'm in a relationship or not this is one thing i told myself that i need to make sure i maintain is making sure i'm making time for myself whether it's doing things I love, like doing this here, making YouTube videos and creating content, dancing, drawing, excuse me, reading. Those are other ways that I'm pouring into myself. Uh, filling my brain with knowledge. Um, that's one thing I'm working on, too, just trying to teach myself things. Uh, you learn beyond school. And it's actually better where you're just teaching yourself stuff because you retain the information better and you can go at your own pace. But anywho, I want to teach you all how to just love yourself and be confident in who you are and what you're doing in life. And to know that what you're doing is connected to what God has in store for you. So yesterday I was looking into a lot of solo dates. And there's some places they were introducing me to throughout Chicago that I was like, whoa, I've never heard of these places. So one of them. And you can even go on a date with somebody here. It's just your option whether you want to go by yourself or to go anyway. And I could create a whole separate video on loving yourself and solo date options in Chicago if you all want. Comment down below if you want me to do a separate video on places to go in Chicago as a solo date. And I would like to do a solo date jar as well. So that would be a fun little activity for us to do. But anywho, here are a couple options while they're like fresh on my mind. Going to like art galleries and museums, that's a great place to go to by yourself. Get yourself some coffee to set the vibes play some music and just walk around and allow your mind and creative juices to flow that's one just sightsee and browse or do some shop therapy me i do a little bit of the both i don't always shop because i like to save my money but i do pretty good with window shopping just looking at stuff and i like to see my options anyway before i buy before i start buying things so one of the things that i used to do all the time when i was in school it says after school if i didn't have any homework to do and i didn't want to go home and it was still early like three o'clock i would stay downtown and i would just walk around all the stores so i was going through burberry i was going through ralph lauren and tiffany and co it's just the environment is so nice being around so many successful people it's just it's motivating so that's another thing reading and pouring knowledge into yourself that's another way of you know pouring into your cup and spending time with yourself there's this place in Chicago called Sneaker University where you can customize and make your own shoes. And then there's this other place where you can make your own custom rug. And then there's this other place that you can make your own uh, customized perfume. I'm really big on arts and crafts. So I like stuff like this where you can make your own stuff or just hands-on stuff where you can have fun. Um, like for my boyfriend, for guys, if you're watching this, you can just do stuff that you like to do. If you're into sports or if you're into like physical activity, go to the gym. And that's another thing for us females too, going to the gym. I swear, it's the best feeling when you leave the gym. I swear, you just feel so refreshed. And then, especially after you sink your notice, like once you begin to notice your results, it makes you want to keep going. But yeah, like for guys, y'all can go to the gym. If you're in a baseball, go to the batting cage or just go to the baseball field, play basketball. Um, I like to dress up too, like just dressing up and making yourself feel good, doing self care that can go on both ends for male and female. Just doing things that make you happy and make you feel brand new. That's what you should think of and do. And write a list of things that you like to do and that you enjoy, whether it's hobbies or little things from like you like doing nails or whatever. Just do what makes you happy. 
And that's how you pour it to yourself. And solo dates are always fun. I used to be afraid of them, but as I got older, I'm like, I like this. Especially when you know that you're spending time with yourself and you don't get that much time with yourself. You appreciate it. Like going to the movies. That's a great way to um, just easily spend time with yourself. You're not thinking about it as much as like if you was going out to a restaurant and eating by yourself. It's so much that you can do to pour into yourself. And um, never lose sight of being in love with yourself. Because then people around you begin to fall in love with you as you're falling in love with yourself. And it becomes easy, especially when you're including it into your routine. It just becomes easy and natural. y'all i am back in the car and i have two gratises to show you so what a gratis is is pretty much like a gift or award that my job gives us for like completing a good task or completing a, a reward accomplishment so this award little thing that we have it's like a, a sales incentive so pretty much it was like the lucky seven if you sold seven items or sold over $700 or opened up a credit card, you were able to get a gratis. And when we get a gratis, we have to fill out one of these slips and you pretty much write out the item that you chose as your gift. And usually the options they have is perfume, candles, and makeup. And not always usually get perfume. And it's luxury perfume at that. So the two options that I chose, oh, I'm so excited. And I have to um, show you all the last two gratis um, perfumes that I chose. But the first one is Alien Mirage. It's a floral aquatique ombre scent. This is what it looks like. It actually smells different, it's decent. And I'm not a big floral scent person. In every video, I've just about said I am a vanilla person. I am either a fresh scent type of person or a sweet vanilla flavorful type of person but all of my scents i like for them to smell classy and mature but i'm all for the sweet and savory scents the second perfume that i chose was black opium which i've been dying to try since it came out like years ago like the best way i can describe what this smells like is fruit loops like if you want to smell like fruit loops grab this it's like a sweet fruity fragrance i like this of course it's a YSL perfume and then this kind of also has like a same has the same effect so I'm about to head to the beauty supply and then go see my mom and then we're gonna go home and get busy with my errands at the house and I have to show y'all my collection if I remember it's growing there's a lot more perfumes that I would like to add to my collection but you know it's a start and I have to get me a nice little organizer to put them in because I keep getting them and I don't have nowhere to store them. It's like, so I'll see y'all later, okay? store i'm trying to park uh it's no lines over here i'm gonna just have to make up my own parking spot let's try to make this fast 
so I'm not out late. I am actually tired. But yeah, we about to go inside. And I'll see y'all when I get back. I'm getting what I need to get. Now, if I see something really nice, then I'll show y'all. But I will see you guys again once I'm done getting what I have. I see some I want. This is all me right here. That is so cute. But I'm not paying $30 for that. You can also buy that on Amazon. These are cute, too. These Louis Vuitton dupes. These coins. And I would just end up buying this because it's glittery. I don't need that for my hair. It's just with my fold. This is cute, too. But y'all, y'all can purchase this off Amazon. I've seen you on Amazon. I think that's why I'm just getting mine from. All right, y'all. I am back in the car. And let me say something. I smell extremely good. And I love it. I'm so happy. That's that black opium I sprayed on earlier. If you don't mind smelling like Fruit Loops, it's a cop. And it's a mature smell, too. So although it kind of smells like Fruit Loops, it's a mature, sweet fragrance and it's nice for honestly all year round but i'm gonna show y'all really quick what i got from inside you know i got some other than what i got went in there for i didn't spend that much money though i only spent 25 dollars which is not bad so i got my edge control this is the only edge control that seems to be working i got two uh one for me and one for my friend jamaya who's also my co-worker um i got her one as well i feel like she would love this well she always talks about my edges and she was saying she couldn't find it anywhere else so i just got her one while i was there and then i got myself some vaseline um chapstick i have the small container which i like i like the little bottle and i like the uh cocoa butter one too though but i got this so i can put it in my purse because my lips be needing it um, my lips soft, don't get me wrong. They just be feeling so dry. And I like to keep them moisturized. I usually either have on lip gloss or chapstick. And then I got a leave-in conditioner. So when I wash my hair, we can try this. So you're supposed to keep this in your hair for about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll probably keep it in for 15 considering how thick my hair is. And I haven't done a deep condition in my hair in a long time. So I hope my hair likes this. I know I'm probably going to go through this thing fast. I need to check on my honey. I hope y'all like some of my Afrobeat music. I've always loved Afrobeat music. I grew up with it. Um, I'm a former West African dancer. I still consider myself a West African dancer. I just don't do it as consistently as I used to. Um, I took a break from it like my sophomore year in college just so it can relieve some of the load on my plate. I was working part-time, I was in school full-time, and then I was also like shadowing other people, and then of course trying to make time for family and in my social life. It was a lot, so I had to give up something. And you know, I still currently dance. Um, the only form of dance that I do currently is I'm a praise dancer at my church. My mom and I are both praise dancers. And that's the only form of dance that I do at the moment. Um, along with my own dancing around the crib but that's it but i would like to get back into um west african dancing professionally it's just all the classes and rehearsals are in the city and it's like i don't mind the commute it's just being out there in the city by myself as a woman i love dancing it's definitely something i truly truly love and it's a part of me i've always been surrounded by african or just cultural music i should say and i love oh i love just the african culture if i'm not listening to gospel if i'm not listening to r and i'm listening to afro beat music i love it i love it let's listen to some more music Next to Brett Baez and Summer Walker. 
Right now, they're outside in the backyard, I think gardening. And for those who didn't know, my mom was actually just in the hospital not too long ago. Please continue to keep her in prayers because she's going to have to go back. But she's doing fine. Like, I'm going to show you. She's literally outside walking with socks on. Look. <laughs> She's doing good. She's still her happy self. Moving around. And I'm about to just sit here and enjoy my guac. I'm going to have to get me a honey bowl. Something to eat on the way home. So I'll probably see y'all when I'm on my way to get something. Hey, y'all. I am back in the car. I'm sorry I'm not as like... Cause I'm sleepy. <laughs> Your girl getting sleepy and I got one more stop to make. I'm not that hungry because I ate that chips and guac. But I know once I smell his food, I'm gonna want some food. So I probably just get some fries or something. But um I'm probably just gonna get some covers. I kinda want something more savory and more filling and not fast food but that's what we're just gonna have to get for today low-key this mango strawberry cooler is is sounding pretty good mango peach i know my baby wants some ice cream but we don't never eat it I'm not getting us no ice cream. We got about like five, six ice creams from here that has not been touched. We just be forgetting it after we eat because we get full. All right, we finna just chill here until the food gets here. Once the food gets here, we'll be on our way home. We got the food locked and loaded. She said, Take it easy on me, baby. I know that I crossed the line. I'm hard to please, a baby. And love is alright sometimes. Yeah, I'm sensitive. I'm sensing that you're bothered. But I couldn't feel the energy shift in your blood, man. I just was about to catch a man. I thought they were going to catch a man. I got to send care of him. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, it's out of here.